Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Drummer828, back with a very weird update to the whole Monograph situation. In my last video, I touched on the fact that Monograph was stalking me. I kind of glossed over it in that video because I, I wanted to make a video dedicated to just the stalking aspect of Steve Quest, AKA Monograph, and his little buddy, Agent 19. Now, I've started paying attention to Monograph again ever since that first time he sent me an email. After eight years of me not hearing from him, suddenly I had this email that just seemed like all these veiled threats and him talking about a lawsuit and, and if I could be subpoenaed and all this stuff. I immediately started to pay attention to Monograph when all that started to happen and, and really just follow the kind of stuff he was doing. And I picked up pretty quick, he was really starting to dig into me and I could tell based on what he was saying that he was firing up his whole stalking process on me. So I decided to sit back, not bring too much attention to it and just document everything that happened. And of course that paid off and I feel like now he's kind of done everything he thinks he can do, or at least it seems like it. He's gone quiet now. But uh, now I feel like it's a good time to start talking about exactly what went down. Right around the time of my second video covering all of this recent issue with Monograph, he started divulging all kind of information about what he was doing. He was saying he knew who I was. He was saying why well, he knew where I was. But regardless, uh, I, you know, I didn't stop. I felt like it was important to tell this story. This is something he doesn't want to get out. And there's a lot of other people I found also that are being affected by the same person and have been stalked by him for years. And I'm not even joking, years. And these people range from all walks of life all over the internet. It's, it's absolutely crazy. But I can only put so much of what's been happening to me into words. I think the best way for you to understand what's been going on is for you to just see it yourself. We know right where you're at. Ask me if I bluff. True. True story. We know exactly who you are. And you would know, if you'd been watching me the last nine years, you'd know that's exactly how I am. Because I don't let go. Somebody attacks me as a police officer, I don't care. Oh, well, here's your docs. You attack me, oh, you're an attorney? Good. You're fired now. Here's your docs. I don't care who you are. I don't forget. And I don't forgive, buddy. Just scoot along there, I'll you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you do. Uh-huh. You sure do. And uh, so, hey, you know what? Know your facts before you run your mouth. You lose, Mr. <laughs> Get my meaning? Yeah, that's right. Man, you're going to have a big old surprise, buddy. Big surprise. Big old surprise. Don't get mad when you get that big old surprise. Don't get mad. So, here you are, Mr. <laughs> You're trying to equate BDSM with the Umbrella Man. It has nothing to do with either. Sorry, you lose again. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, drummer. You lost again. How embarrassing. Because he, you sit there and, you know, drummer would have you believe Mr. <laughs> yeah, that guy. He would have you believe that he really cares. He's like, Monty, if you're feeling, you know, like you want to take yourself out, but not to lunch. Oh, I really care. And then the next frame is what the umbrella man again. I'm so sorry, drummer. You don't understand the remote view. I'm so sorry that you're so close minded about remote viewing, but I've proven it a bajillion times. It works and it's accurate. And yours was accurate right down to an inch for real. Hmm. Isn't that neat? Not even the other day, for real. I can't say other day. It was like maybe a week ago, week and a half. Me and me and another fella, right, right hand man, agent nineteen, we're studying something. And you know what I did? I did like a forced remote view. I said, this dude is located on the Northwest side, guaranteed. I know it. How do you know, Monty? I know he is. And here I am on this street right here, focusing, looking, 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 looking. And then some more information came out. 
I said, age of 19, look at this. So he looked at that information. And then one street over, he found him just like that. Isn't that neat? Now we got the person's full ball of wax. We sure do. We got the age. We got the full name. We got the full. We got everything. Uh-huh. On a remote view. You want to laugh about that? Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, October Rain's going to come out with a video of his own, drummer boy. And I'm going to show you how powerful that remote view is. It sure is powerful. It is. You ain't going to believe it, but it is true. People see me doing it many times. Matter of fact, I'm 50% for 50%. I'm glad nothing happened to old, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Agent 19 and I work together. And that's it. We don't involve anyone else. We don't. Because we don't trust anyone else. And if we do trust someone else on a limited capacity, and that falls under October Rains Industries. If you if you hear that, that means there's two, three, four, five people involved on a limited capacity, like Mighty Buffoon. There's another one. That's that guy is a real anon. Okay. You blew it out of proportion and you started attacking me. And ultimately, now you're identified. You sure are, buddy boy. You sure are. And it was easy. It was easy because I relied on my remote viewing to get you and it worked. It sure did. And, you, and we're going to show everybody how it worked. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? You don't mind, do you? Because you get to put your name on this garbage. You get to put your name on these lies that you've told about me. You get to put your name on it. We're going to put it on there for you. And then we're going to go into what is called SEO operations, make you a superstar. Isn't that neat? You don't mind, do you? Because I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. When I'm dead and gone, that information will be on there about you. Your supporters are innocent, Mr. I'm going to explain something to you. I posted a tweet stating that my mother had died during childbirth. And of course, she didn't. How's that for you, Mr. You may concede that you've gotten this wrong, but I can tell you this for certain, Mr. You've never been right.
So as you can see, Monograph and Agent 19 have been very busy. They put in an awful lot of work, and unfortunately I hate to break it to you guys now because I don't know if you've been picking up over it. I've been kind of leaving hints on Twitter. I've been, ah shit, actually, I think it might have been yesterday that I, I went ahead and sent you a direct tweet, Monograph, Steve Quest, uh, that, hey, you, you got the docs wrong, you don't have my docs. Not that I even have anything to hide, but as you can see, his goal is to get somebody's name just so he can run his, what did he call it? Uh, his SEO operations is what he, <laughs> it's so lame. He just wants to get my real name so he can run his SEO operations and just completely smear my name and my character. I have nothing on a police record to worry about, so the only thing I think that he could really do is just start making stuff up and attach my name to it. Yeah, you, you, you know what? Uh, as he's fumbling around with his little uh, bullshit there, I called the heat on him. Sure did. So police should be there any moment now. Sure should be. Now I was having trouble not laughing before, but I didn't do a very good job. But they're still they're still here. So we're gonna hear from him. He's, he's over there beating on something, or I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, the cops are gonna be there any moment. Watch and see. Sure will be. Of the deal, dude. You like those? No, I don't know. It's not against his channel, he's saying. It's not against the video. It's against dude, the channel. He's, he's, he's interacting like a motherfucker. It's ridiculous. Dude, all you have to do is contact YouTube and tell them that you want that strike <laughs> taken down. I took the video down. See what Monograph wants me to do. <laughs> Oh, good. How are you? There they are. Sure. No problem. Yeah, go talk to the police, dipshit. That's what you get for threatening me, bitch. Hold that. See how that works? Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you threaten the king. Mm -hmm. See how that works? And as you saw with those last videos, uh, yeah, he thought he had my docs, and I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to explain it, but I will say this. That's not my name. That's not my address. That's not my docs. However, after doing a little bit of research, that turns out to be someone's docs. I'll say this. I've got a thumb drive, where is it? I got a thumb drive right here with every bit of information and evidence that I've collected over this whole stocking experience of Monograph taking this person's name and their address and even to the point of a Google map thing where he's zoomed out from space and comes all the way in on this dude's house and he's going up and down the street on it. Yeah, I've taken everything that you've done, including archives, including comments, including you just admitting everything that you just saw and then some is on this little thumb drive here. And probably by the time you see this video, he's going to have that thumb drive. I've given him everything and, and Monograph, you're an idiot because you're doing all this with your docs out there. Because of your lawsuit, it's easy to figure out who you are. And so I handed your docs over to the guy that you've been wrongfully calling me. Uh, so I don't know what he's gonna do with it. I know I titled the uh, the thumb drive when you plug it into your computer It pops up and says free money. So uh, I think he gets an idea of what he can do with all the information and you better I say this you better pray That nothing happens to his house Because the second anything anything happens to his house or him or anybody involved with that place harassment swatting uh, somebody trying to break in anything it's, it's gonna come back on you. So you've dug yourself a hole there, Monograph. Excuse me, Steve Quest. Yeah, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but in my previous videos, I extended a courtesy to Steve Quest, AKA Monograph, where I just called him Monograph. I wasn't gonna bring his real name into this, but I'm not doing that anymore. He has proved just how dirty he's willing to play, and he doesn't deserve any kind of courtesy from me in the least. So from now on, 
when I refer to Montagraph, I'm going to refer to him by his legal name, Steve Quest. And I think it's important for all the people out there who've been harassed by him to know exactly who it is that's been messing with him. And I also think it's important that we don't forget about Agent 19. He's thrown himself into this. He wants to get involved. He keeps trying to, to insert himself into the situation. And I right, fine. I mean, uh, we, we can do that. Uh, he did something really interesting where he... He actually invited everyone to figure out his name and his location. He challenged, he put out a challenge and he requested people to figure out who he is. And when you take into account the fact that he's the one that's doing a lot of the legwork for Monograph as far as like doxing people and figuring out who people are and everything, I think it's important that people take him up on that challenge. I mean, how often do you have somebody openly invite you to do that? It's kind of weird, but I mean, legally it's fair game at this point. In closing, I will repeat a challenge that I first made in 2011. Find me. Provide my location and my full name. But Agent 19, he's the guy that has enabled Monograph to inflict all of this harassment and stalking of, on people all across the United States. Now, I don't want to put out anything as if it's concrete or that I know for sure. I'm going to play it really safe because I don't want to do exactly what Monograph did and dox the wrong person. But here's my theory. Here's some ideas that I've got floating around in my head. I've got little birds chirping in my ears, kind of giving me information here and there. And I want to share with you some of my theories about who I think Agent 19 could be. I think his name may be Lewis. I think he may have an older brother named Frank. I think he may frequent or at least visit every now and then the Knob Creek shooting range in Kentucky. I think he may live in Kentucky. Now I put that information out on Twitter as soon as Agent 19 released his uh, challenge to everyone to come find him and surprise surprise he immediately started doing stuff. All of a sudden, you know, the guy who only shows up once and now and then and, you know, doesn't, he, he may make a video here or, you know, he pops up and says something there. All of a sudden, this guy, uh, I could tell, was doing a lot of stuff, making a lot of moves. All of a sudden, all these fake accounts that were made that day started popping up and throwing out different names and trying to give me links to stuff. And, and I was like, nah, nah, I think your actions have kind of told on yourself. So I, I'm pretty sure uh, with the information that I've given out, I at least made him really nervous because I saw a whole slew of, of actions that I hadn't seen happen yet until I did that. Uh, a whole lot of misinformation popping out. He even started responded to it. He put another video up on his YouTube channel with like a caveat. If you expose me, I will expose you. That's the added thing I, I forgot to say in my last challenge. So he definitely seemed nervous and that was enough for me to go, ah, there might be something to what I've got here. And like I said, I think it's important to hold both of these people accountable for the terrible things they're doing to people. I mean, right now, there's a guy that isn't me, that is, his name and his address is attached to me. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know anything about YouTube. And now all of a sudden, he's wrapped up in all of this. And uh, I'll say this, man, if it happened to me, I'd be furious. And the fact that Monograph in the past has told this whole story about how somebody tried to dox him and got the dox wrong and he was so concerned about the innocent person who was getting going to get caught up in all of this stupid drama from the internet and, and their name's going to get smeared and he, he wanted to do anything he could to help them. All I had to do legally is state it once publicly that I'm not dead. But oh no, there were hundreds of videos that I put out defending that I'm not that person. For the fear that some weirdo, some whack job would go to Dale's house that I don't live at and do something naughty. And because it got worse and worse and worse and worse, and people put out videos driving by Dale's house, trying to intimidate me, even though I'm not Dale and I don't live there. Hmm. That wasn't very bright. Because shortly after that happened, guess what I did? I dodged Dale and went to their house and provided them unequivocal evidence of who started this mess and destroyed their name and their family name on the internet because some attorney out of Michigan 
accused me of being that person knowing I wasn't. Knowing for a fact that I wasn't. Well, Monograph, you've just done the exact same thing. You don't have my docs. And even if you did, like I, there's nothing I've got to hide. The only thing that you can do at this point is, is slander me. So I'm interested to see what he does now. Uh, he's got two options. He can leave the videos up or take them down. Either way, it really doesn't affect me. It affects the person who is gonna have this thumb drive by the time you see this video. And that person could very well take action on those videos. So, I mean, I would love to see you get sued. It'd be hilarious. Uh, but if you take them down, now you look like an idiot. So I don't know what you're going to do if you're going to retract and apologize or you're just going to leave them up and hope for the best. But like I said, this is called free money. Free money. <laughs> but I'll put it to y'all like this. Steve Quest, aka Monograph, and Agent 19 are in a lot of trouble. I have been in touch with quite a few of the victims that have reached out to me. These people have been stalked and harassed, like I said earlier, stalked and harassed by Monograph and Agent 19 for years. This is what these guys do. They call themselves professional doxers. Uh, so, I, I mean, there is uh, there's a lot here. It, I mean, they're doing this together, making it conspiracy, uh, harassment, stalking. I don't know. I don't really know all the... the laws when it comes to internet stuff or anything like that. I'm just gonna say you guys should really watch your ass at this point because I, like I said I've been talking to a lot of your victims and I've been giving them a plan. I've been telling them exactly what they need to do and that would be uh, that and this goes out to anyone else who hasn't contacted me if you've been stalked by Agent 19 and Monograph go down to your local police department file a police report. Once you get your police report number, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and call the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office and let them know about Steve Quest and his activities. You wanna get that documented and you wanna let them know exactly what's going on. I'd even say contact the Colorado State Police and give them, a, you know, forward your police report to them and let them know what's going on. If you haven't gotten your information yet, go ahead and get it, send it in. It's time that people quit being afraid of these two idiots. Uh, they are pathetic, if anything. Anyway, I hope this is the last time I have to talk about either one of these two yahoos. I am so sick of this subject. I am so tired of them. And I would just really like to go on vacation and enjoy myself and get away from all of this stupid internet beef garbage. But now you see I was telling the truth. They have exposed themselves. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. I uh, will talk to y'all later. So, so, fuck this, man. Y'all have a good one. Mm. Isn't that neat? If I'm wrong, I will, uh, re you know, I will um, retract the evidence or retract the statement. No problem. No problem.